Okay, so I'm going to do a reading on... I did a reading. Is Trump an agent? Is Trump getting his marching orders from Vladimir Putin? And I said yes on both. And then, yesterday, I'm watching Rachel Maddow and Joy's there, and she said, bombshell report from the New York Times. The FBI has opened an investigation into Trump to see whether or not he is working for Russia against America. Or on behalf of Russia, I think is what they say. And I'm like, what the hell? I don't know why I was shocked. I did the darn reading, but it is odd because this has never actually happened before because I just used to do readings for myself, not for the world. And so it is kind of strange to see something that you read starting to come to pass. Now, mind you, they still haven't proved it. They just... They have enough things there, however, to even launch an investigation. They didn't launch an investigation to see if unicorns exist. They launched an investigation based on evidence. Evidence is not proof. Evidence is just saying, okay, there's a gun there. There's a dead body. So there might have been a murder. If you don't find any gun holes, then there's no shot. You know what I'm saying? So they have evidence that there's something there. So I want to know what's going to come up. From the FBI probe. Now. This is for fun. Because I already did the reading. That said he was a, a Russian agent. So we know what's going on. I mean hell. If you. More than likely if you're watching this channel. Then you pretty much know that Trump's a crook anyway. But you know. I have had a couple trolls. People like to call names and things. Which is fine because, I mean, you know, I'm grown. You cannot possibly offend me. I'm not easily offended. Like, whatsoever. Those readings I do on Umar Johnson really bring them out because people still support him. I said, you're a coward. Show your face. There you go. Like, what is that going to do for you, though? I don't understand. So, Queen of Cups. What's going to come up the FBI probe? Who is that? Okay. If a page pops up. Oh, there's the Queen of Pentacles. Two women. Ace of Pentacles. They're following the money. But why? Why? Why follow the money? Now, following the money is going to lead to a crime in his case, I believe. But what did they see that said, let's follow this trail? Did he get a paycheck that said you work for us? Kind of like Manafort. Because Manafort said he worked for the Trump campaign for free. Well, where are you getting money from? Because you are still living in this big lavish place with this $9,000 rug and all this here. So, did they see a paycheck? They seen something, mind you, in this whole brings them back to the tax returns thing. They seen something that said, let's follow that. Because this is not the two of Pentacles, which is like materialization. Or a preparation. This is not the four, which means you're clinging on to that money. This is not the nine, where you're self-sufficient. This is the ace, which means this is new money. So back then, when he first started this whole campaign and Russia started to stick their foot in, did he get paid and say, hey, Donald, Trump Tower Moscow? Hey, Donald, you want a resort over here? Hey, Donald, since you are the nominee, you are the candidate, if we can help you get in, here's your little money, we'll grease the palm. If we can help you get in, this is what I need you to do. Is he working against the U.S. on behalf of Russia? That's what they're investigating. They're following the money. So there's a money something somewhere that gave them the tip off. So this is not like they found a body in his closet. 
There, they, it's a money thing. Yep, there's the moon. This is the secrets card that are being that's being uncovered. There's your investigation. There's two women involved, though. Maybe they're the ones investigating. The Wheel of Fortune. This is turning. It's moving on, moving forward. Then there is the Two of Cups. This is the bond. That's the relationship. So these two are involved in the investigation. I don't know if they're the targets or they're the ones investigating. Like, are these two people in correspondence with Trump and that's how they found out? Or are these two people investigating? I'm not clear on that. But they're definitely together. We'll see in the environment. We'll see in the environment. Hardship. Like I say, the um, desires and the crowning thoughts usually match and the base and the fears usually match. There's the greasing of the palm. This is your base. Hardship is the fear. He wanted money from somewhere. He didn't like to spend his own. Like someone said in the comments, he spends other people. Ace of Wands. They're the investigators. Because there's your new venture. The Ace of Wands is the beginning of a new idea. Six of Swords. That's moving forward. Overseas. It is a rush of... Well, yeah, of course, because it's a rush of things. So, they're investigating. These two are probably not household names, probably why we don't just see. And mind you, there's also a little bit of... Um, never mind. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to share the information. Six of Pentacles is a sharing card. Okay, so what we got? What will become of the FBI probe? You have the two people investigating. These are two women. They are probably part of the investigation teams, or they could be the lead investigators. Which would be great in a male-dominated um, field. But then there's the greasing of the palm. Maybe they are the ones who said, hey... You know, there was an awful lot of transaction from such and such. Deutsche Bank, for instance. Let's follow that money. There's your investigation, uncovering the secrets. It's moving forward, so it's not like it's stuck. There's the bond. This is not, um, it's brought them closer to a conclusion. Not necessarily closer together, but closer to a conclusion. There's the new idea, the new venture, so they are working together. The fear is the hardship. Six of Swords is in the desire. They hope to go over and find, not necessarily physically go over, but they hope to find. They are going to share information with the special counsel and judges. I do see special counsel first for whatever reason. There's the Four of Cups. That is an offer. There is the Queen of Swords. That's the um, Attorney General. Hmm. Russians pumped money into his Trump Foundation, too. I wonder if Leticia James has, has found that and she shared it. Let's see if we get a share card under her. Now, that just threw me through a loop. There is the Four of Pentacles that is um, clinging to information. So she didn't, well, not necessarily. King of Wands, there's Robert Moeller. So Robert Moeller, oh, 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 I see. The Meeting of the Minds. Leticia James. She has found something already. Or maybe this is just telling me that Something to do with state's evidence. Like, this is not a federal thing, so he can't be pardoned, and I'm going to do a reading on something like that, too. Anyway, 
she had information or someone in her offices has uncovered information that they gave to investigators, because remind you, Robert Mueller is of the FBI. There's your hangman. Under the four cups, the four cups is um, the offer. So it, it's it's an internal thing. It stayed in-house. This is not a, um, they went and found some people to talk to. No, this is, for whatever reason, this card is a card of like, resistant to change and clinging, being stingy. But this is telling me that it was more of a, I have this information, draw closer into me. So there is the 10 of wands. It is a uh, burden. So this was, um, this was information she needed to tell somebody though. This was not something that she could have dealt with personally. So this is not a, because she is, she is um, investigating the Trump Foundation. This is not just a New York State, what did you do with the money thing? This is a bigger thing because it's part of Russia. There is a star. So like I said, it's right under that thing where I said it was drawing them closer together. There is the star. The star is like the hope and healing and good times and light card. So there is um, that camaraderie. Under Robert Mueller is that devil card. He's on the hunt. The devil is basically telling me that there are there are issues that was uncovered in that information that was too much for just her offices alone to handle that she had to get investigators involved. And so it's about greed. So it is indeed about money. Grease in the palm. So, I mean, like I said, I already said he was an agent. I already said he works for Russia. He does not work for us. These women are investigating you. But um, it's not just Leticia James. It's not just Robert Mueller that you have to worry about. This came from the New York Times and told all of us. What you also have to worry about, and I seen somebody left a comment. I didn't erase it. I just left it there. That a lot of other readers are saying that Donald Trump is going to be president again in 2020. So let's say, for instance, that is true. You are... You are... I'll say this nicely. You're no, well, I won't say it nicely. I'll just say it this way. Even if it was true that you're going to be president in 2020, you're not going to finish that term at all. There's the working together. There's the temperance. Everything in the world is against Donald Trump. Like, I can't illustrate enough how, like, if that was Donald Trump, if this was Donald Trump, you got somebody coming at you from that direction, that direction, that direction, that direction, that direction, that direction. Somebody is going to get your ass. So you got all of these different things that are coming against you. And they're all working together. Leticia James is the um, New York Attorney General. She is not an FBI investigator, and yet... She has contacted the FBI. They have now started an investigation to see where this money that came from Russia, why is it in your Trump Foundation? They hit the ground running. That's a good sign that she is, she's no nonsense. She got to work and just got seriously to work. And um, it is a very interesting time we live in. It's almost... If it wasn't real life, it would be a little more entertaining. This is like a a reality show if you ever seen one. The most corrupt person in my lifetime at the head of the country. And I would say he's the most powerful person in the world, but he's really not at this point. Because he is inept at what it is he can do. He doesn't really know because he's not really supposed to be there. This is just our wake-up call. So... Donald Trump, you might want to start um, 
giving your soul to the Lord because your ass is grass.